Representative Dat Chung Bagos in his debate said if the strike is allowed to continue, it will be a national and reoccurring embarrassment to Nigeria. And this is the main reason some Nigerians prefer to send their children abroad for their degrees. A strike of even one day will shorten the academic year of students in this country. A strike of only one day, Mr. Speaker, with a population of 200 million is a wrong signal to the world. The motion, however, attracted the interest of many members who were willing to contribute to the debate. Some feel all issues around the Fisher Institution Association who seem frustrated with the federal government policies towards their condition of service must be looked into and tackled. Mr. Speaker, we really need to know what the problem is. What exactly is the problem? With the Labour Ministry and Ministry of Education, what have these people done to them? And what do they demand or need from them that is so difficult to do? I want to appeal to our colleagues here. Those who have connections with the big men in this country, to please educate them that when you sign an agreement, you should live up to the terms of that agreement. The Speaker, Femi Bajabia Mila, however, instructed the clerk of the House to invite all relevant stakeholders for a meeting. You say aye. Those against you say nay. Eyes up. Another motion that was adopted was Ahmed Jaha's motion on the need to command the 25th Special Tax Force Brigade of the Nigerian Army and other security personnel in Dambua on the recent successes recorded against Boko Haram insurgents. That the several insurgents were killed and about 19 operational vehicles belonging to the insurgents were destroyed while many other vehicles were recovered from the insurgents. From the National Assembly, Abdul Yusuf, Liberty News.